All right, lads. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. <laughs> But this man is a fearsome dog that feeds off trouble and turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. And he's a canny one. Knows his way round every crag and crevice of these islands. So if it's fortune and adventure you seek, then Captain Edward Kenway's your man. Only, don't meddle in his private affairs. For there's more mystery of that man than even I dare ask. Hi there, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Trouble Three Sixty. Uh, play mainly on Xbox One and Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty games, and a little bit of PC. So I don't tend to stream those. Uh, please feel free to check out any of my other gaming events and achievement guides. But today I am playing Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag, and um, working my way through a full story completion uh, right from the beginning. So, in this, you play as Edward Kennedy. Edward Kenway, as you say, sorry, uh, and you're a pirate. Um, at the start here, me and my fellow pirate buddies have been attacked, so uh, we'll get straight into the naval combat and take down these ships. Uh, the start of this is really an introduction on how to do some of the naval combat that's been expanded from Assassin's Creed 3, so you're probably, possibly, uh, reasonably familiar with that if you've played that game. Uh, it is quite straightforward. Uh, you just basically select the cannons, whichever way your camera is facing, that will be the cannon you choose when you uh, aim. Uh, and from there on it's really just unleashing hell on your enemies and taking them down before they can get you. Uh, it is quite easy, these are you know, beginner, beginner ships you're fighting against, they take damage quite quickly. If you hit the hull, they sink like stones. I'll just let this battle finish off here and uh, we'll get a wee cutscene and then we'll get on to the, the main Assassin's Creed bit. They were taken down without too many problems. It looks my ship is fucked though. Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? 
Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage, sail under gentlemen. Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred esquivos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Okay, so uh, we've sort of landed on Cape Bonavista, uh, and this island really just introduces you to some of the normal Assassin's Creed mechanics, uh, the climbing, the parkour, and a little bit further on in the level, some of the stealth and the combat mechanics as well. Uh, just from the get-go, I'll just sort of say that I will be picking up all the collectibles here, so uh, you can use this as a wee achievement guide for you. Um, there is an achievement for picking up and clearing it's everything a in a certain water, area, uh, and I'll get that at the that end distance? of this walkthrough. Uh, the mini map on the bottom left corner it will display if there is anything in your area to pick up. It'll have chests, um, show you any sort of towers that you can sync with, uh, animal skins, things like that. Hmm. Um, what you're looking for to sink is the, the little eagle that you can see on my mini-map mini now. And this is the first tower that we can sink and then be able to see some of the rest of the pickups. So again, this is something quite common with all the Assassin's Creed games. You get the tower, you can sink uh, and open up areas of the map. And as with all of these towers, there's always a little pile of straw or leaves or something at the bottom for you to perform your leap of faith. Just to see you climbing back down. Poor skit. Where's he running to? Follow and I'll kill you. 
Now, the traversal and the movement in the Assassin's Creed games uh, just keeps getting better and better, and this is probably the best so far. Um, virtually all of it's done with just one button. Um, just run along at things and it'll automatically have you jump over. There's a couple of things like the Leap of Faith that you need to press two buttons, like push forward, press jump and run. Um, but it's really straightforward and can be picked up really quickly. Um, you certainly don't need to be an expert to be able to be reasonably comfortable going through. And then obviously it's just a case of pointing in a direction, leaping from th item to item, uh, and picking them up as we're going, picking up these collectibles. Okay, so you can see some of the, the collectibles on the minimap. Um, I just took a, a hard left over here to get this chest. Um, and I just sort of follow it around. It's quite straightforward. Occasionally there'll be something above or below you, so you might, if you miss something, you might have to just check if it's up on a ledge or it's in a little cave or a nook below you if you're up high. Um, but the map's pretty, pretty useful for um, going around and picking up these items. Um, just use that as much as you possibly can. It'll also sort of show you your, your uh, mission targets. Okay, so in the menu there's a little uh, options to go and review some of the items that you've picked up. Just helps with some of the backstory. It's uh, some really good interesting stuff in here. Um, and actually the more you pick up, obviously the more you'll find out about the game and the story and the characters. Um, that's obviously for the letters, but you can go and look at the people you've encountered. Um, and also you can look at the ships and even some of the places and the locations. Again, it just gives you that sort of bigger, wider universe for Assassin's Creed. Uh, it's really quite cool. Uh, you should check it out. We could work together on this. Oh. 
So, uh, another tower here to uh, get up. Uh, you can obviously again see that eagle icon on your map. So I'll just get this one synced and there'll be a few collectibles to get before just moving on and doing my leap of faith to get down. Uh, those will come up now on my mini map just to make sure that you know you don't miss anything. Okay, so just edit out me killing and skinning uh, five or six wild pigs. Um, I didn't want to bore you. Sorry for the bad pun. Um, so the leap of faith and onto the next area. So just have a quick look, make sure there's nothing down here, but the, there's not. So I'll uh, be moving on and trying to catch up with the, with the guy from the boat and from the beach. So here he is, and he takes a pot shot at me. What a fucking asshole! I'm not happy with that. So let's go and chase him down, and uh, see if we can kill him. It is time for you to die. Come here, come here. Right, this shouldn't be too bad. I'm guessing this guy's quite a shit assassin if I can take him down quite this easily. Uh, doesn't hold out much for the assassin's uh, creed, really, does it? Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Okay, so I have now taking his clothes, I've got the assassin's outfit and a bit of gear um, looking to just get the rest of the collectibles now in this area um, I obviously passed a few as I was chasing them down so I just need to go back up for that uh, there's chests which are obviously good for getting the extra gold and um, helps, comes in handy trying to get some equipment and likes later uh, you've got animus fragments, sea shanties uh, so, so my pirates can bust out some kick-ass tunes when they're in the open water uh, and there's even like this sort of mine temple and sort of secret hidden uh, areas uh, with extra sort of treasure kicking about. Um, there are some collectibles if I'd carried on further down the hill, um, but I'll come back to them when I'm going to finish the level and get them a bit later on.
kind of unsuccessful to chase down this fucking pig. Ah, there we go. Can never have too much wild pig skin and bones. And a nice treasure chest. Yeah, take that. That glowing thing there is an animus fragment. Uh, again, that's another one of the collectibles that you can pick up. They tend to be sort of just to have a jump up, climb up something, jump across and pick it up. Um, the ones later in the game, you have to maybe climb up a few different things, climb your route to them, but they're quite straightforward here. So there is another chest over here, and um, like I say, always trying to pick up the extra gold just to help me out later on. And this is part of like a Mayan temple. I've um, not seen these before in any other Assassin's Creed games. I, I never played AC3, but uh, certainly it's new to me. Um, just climb up on them, it'll ask you to interact, and then it's really straightforward. Just trying to line up the symbols with the uh, white glowing rocks. Uh, once you do that you get a little uh, instruction to go to basically where that cross is and dig. You can never down, turn down too much hidden treasure. I'm not sure you need a sword for that. I'm sure you could just picked up that rock and move it. Hey, -oh. um, and there's my first Mayan stone and another pig. Like I said, these uh, items for the skin and the bones will come in quite handy later, and um, just for making additional some equipment, um, either either that or even just selling it if you need the the, the money, um, they are quite handy. Uh, so just every so often, if there's something that walks in front of you and you can kill it, just go ahead and do it. So that's a sea shanty just up on that branch. Um, I kind of screw up my first attempt to get it. Um, it moves away as you go towards it. Um, you'll see that uh, a little bit later on. So I'll come back here uh, once it's uh, respawned. Don't worry if you do miss it. It only takes about a minute or so for it to come back. So I'll just edit out here. There you go, you'll see it disappearing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just go and look for a little bit of extra treasure just now while I'm waiting for the sea shanty to respawn. So if you go to where that, that, that waterfall is, it's directly below that that you need to go in there. It's kind of like a little, little hidden secret zone. Um, I kind of naturally play games where I explore every sort of corner so you can find quite a lot of these things quite easily but you know there is always that uh, your map to help you so if you think where something is and you can't seem to see it it's often quite often hidden away uh, underneath something and there's two treasure chests in this cave so extra bonus
Okay, so my sea shanty will have respawned by now. And let's get back up there. Whilst climbing quite poorly on this, I might add. Um, nope, I didn't want to do that. Not swinging. Come on, let's climb on the friggin' thing. That's it. I would have been just as easy as climbing this pole itself rather than jumping across it. Should have happened. Okay, so going back up to where that sea shanty is. Let's see if we can get it this time. Okay, so see it's respawned. It's come back up to that point. So I know that it's going to take off in a certain direction, so just getting ready for that. And here we go. Now, just chase it down. You'll kind of should automatically duck under obstacles or climb over them if you just keep your your uh, the button held down for a sort of free run. Um, it will look occasionally like it's getting away from you, but you can catch up with it um, if you just sort of stick with it. And if you don't get it on the first attempt, generally speaking, you'll pick them up in the second. They're not that that tough to get. So, heading back down towards the end of the level, just uh, one big thing to pick up on the way here is an Animus Fragment. And we'll see that coming up in just a minute or so. Well, not even a minute. I kind of have to plan how I'm going to get to it. And you see it's up quite high. So I'm actually going to go back up that route and just get myself around the sort of cliff edge there to, to get to it. Came down just a little too far. Okay, so that's it sitting there. So I'm leaning up on that ledge. The the movement and getting around in Assassin's Creed's always been pretty straightforward. There's a couple of sometimes a couple of little things here and there that you you maybe miss, but generally speaking, it's not like you have to solve puzzles like in your Tomb Raiders and the likes. You know, most places you can get to, and um, there are some restricted zones you might get attacked if you're in a certain area, but there's not usually anything that's too hard. If you need, if you can see it, generally speaking, you can get there unless it's like locked off by the story. Um, but it's you know like a really straightforward method of getting around in this game. It's really well done. That school will do me just fine. Okay, and I can see on my map that there's a treasure chest here, so it's gonna be in the waterfall. So again, I just need to get through there. Um, it's a, just a wee secret hidden thing. Um, they're like never too difficult to, to find if you're looking for them, but um, it is just quite handy there. I just edit out a little bit of looking at some of the, the menus there. So I can hear some people down below. There we go, let's free the merchant, that's my new objective. So I'm hidden at the moment, and then obviously in this sort of bush in the undergrowth, if you're hidden, you can sort of stalk them. And I do plan on doing a few stealthy kills, but it doesn't always go as planned, and I get caught. Kind of really screwed this up. Um, I wanted to just try and drag them into the bush and kill them and loot their bodies and sort of get away with it. That, that makes that a bit easier. You don't have to, you know, fight any reinforcements. Um, and I actually almost die here, which would be a bit embarrassing. Um, but, you know, a few counters, getting used to it again. You know, it's been a wee while since I've played Assassin's Creed. Um, just getting used to that thing. Oh, that guy's got a musket, so I just have to be careful he doesn't shoot me, especially with my health as low as it is. Um, uh, that's his buddy coming in. It's quite similar to the Batman Arkham Asylum kind of thing. There is attack and counters. You've, you know, you can break their defense if they're parrying you. Um, 
there just isn't really that sort of stun thing. But it's you know, like a lot of these sort of action games, they're going you know they're quite similar. I was kind of hoping I could get that turtle as well actually, but uh, no, there's nothing you can do with turtles unfortunately. Okay, so I've got my blue mission marker. Uh, that's just where I need to go to to get the next little bit of the story kicking along. You can hear the merchant shouting out for help and um, asking me not to steal all this stuff. But what I'll do is I'll just see if there's anything to pick up first. Um, there's not really anything being uh, shown on the map, so uh, there is still something I need to sink. I know there's something up here, but I can't quite find it yet. Um, but this will become clearer shortly. You know, if you ever get to a little area like this and you're thinking, mm, why did they put this up here? Generally speaking, something will be hidden in it. Um, again, because I like to explore every corner of maps and every corner of the islands and climb up trees and just make sure I get everything. Um, it does help in terms of, you know, if there's achievements towards it. Okay, so I need to work my way back up. Um, kind of screw up there. Whoops, it is easy. Um, Get to the top. Uh, I've got another thing I should have synced. Um, it's just so I could unlock this. I should have done it earlier. Um, but when I came down into the from the waterfall into that uh, pool, I kind of forgot to go and do it. So I'll get back up there um, and pick up the other items on the way back down. Okay, so you can see an animus fragment there. Um, that's a wee bit off. I can't get to it from this place, but I'll uh, I will get that on the way back down. And obviously, you can see the eagle. There's always an actual eagle perched on the things you can sink as well. So it's kind of a visual giveaway if you're not looking at your mini map all the time. Uh, just press B when it says and synchronize. This game looks damn good. I mean, the sh the, just the island, the landscape, so well done, and the, the ocean going out in the sea there. Um, it is a really good looking game. Uh, again, obviously, this is on Xbox One, so you would uh, maybe lose a little bit of visual fidelity on 360 and the older gen consoles, um, but this looks really pretty. And look at that pile of leaves again, how coincidental, eh? So that's my last Animus Fragment. Um, there's just a tiny little bit still to go. You can obviously see that's my blue marker, that's my mission marker, and a cadaver. So I've still got to get that done. Um, and then I should have my achievement. So when I get into this area, they'll automatically go to the oh story. God. Oh God! God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, not mine. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him. And I must get to Havana with speed. Oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Okay, so we've spoken to Steed, and we are able to go and move on from this island. Just wanted to get this last item, and this is a cadaver. Just search him, and he pulls up a treasure map. So, um, since there's treasure, I want it. 
Oh, it's just a way instruction how to use the map. Okay, so as you see there, it sort of shows you like a sort of visual representation of where you can get the treasure, marked by that big red X, and it gives you locations, a sort of grid reference location. Now, that map obviously looks very much like the area I'm in, so it shouldn't be too hard to follow the instructions back uh, to the cave I was in earlier that looked empty. And now that I've got the map, um, when I get here, it should let me find some treasure. I just get that exact spot on the on the ground. Not this corner. Where are you? Oh, here we go. Okay, and there, but it apparently about two inches below the ground is a big ass treasure chest with a crap lock on it. As demonstrated here. There we go. There, just one kick takes the lock off. And again, more cash for me. Fifteen hundred R's, whatever the hell an R is. Okay, so that's every single thing picked up, collected, and I've got the achievement in uh, for this area and for picking everything up. Um, now it's just get to the boat, get out here, um, get onto the sea and onto Havana, which will come in my next video. I will get into the sea eventually. There we go. Um, So again, it's just take control of the helm, just like we did in the very first section of the game. There's no fight in here. Just steer myself out in the bay and then get done. So, uh, just want to thanks for watching. Say thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the gameplay in the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will have a little button for you to click right now. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, and that's at Crobo360. I'll stick a link for that one as well and please feel free to send my friends request or follow me on xbox live uh, my gamer tag is crobo360 there's a space between that um, and that's it until part two thanks for watching and peace out by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. He's off the wind! I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turned his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Ghost the gallants and royal! You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I.